Brandy, what did you and the club learn coming back from West Virginia? A tough game against you know a you know a, a big time school. What did you guys learn from that game? Um, I think that we learned a lot about um, execution. You know, we practiced all week doing things on the way we had hoped to do them um, on the day of game day, and we didn't perform. We didn't execute the way we wanted to. So. Um, I think we learned that, um, you know, whatever we do in practice, like we really need to make sure that we're making sure it transfers over into, into the games and also that we're coming out ready to play, like from the tip off. And I'm not trying to pick things up like at the beginning of the second half or in the middle of the first half. We have to be ready to play from jump, from the jump off. Don't want to call it a reality check per se, but you guys are cruising along. Is it, I don't know if you, a loss is ever a good thing, but is it maybe good to ground you a little bit and realize? Even though we're off to a great start, there's still a significant amount of work to do. Um, yeah, I think that uh, you know we don't like to lose, but you do learn a lot from your losses. And um, from here on out, like we're not going to be playing any teams that we can just go out there and um, poorly execute and not do things the way that uh, we're, we're supposed to be doing and still win the game. Uh, it's going to take a lot of focus, uh, a lot of uh, energy, a lot of um, just poise to be able to beat the teams that we're going to be playing from here on out. You're crossing through a lot of career milestones in the, in the record books. What do those milestones mean to you personally, even though I know you're team-oriented first? Um, I think it really um, it makes me feel good about myself personally that I'm able to contribute to my team and things like that. Um, I think especially like a rebounding, at, uh, I'm really happy for that, and I'll be glad to you know pass that career mark. And, uh, say that that was an accomplishment that I did. Talk about, about Akron, Brandy, and just what they bring to the table and, uh, on Thursday. Um, Akron's a good team. Uh, they run hard in transition. Uh, their post players are playing really well right now. Uh, they have really good guard play. They're um, executing offensively really well. So um, it's going to be a challenge, a challenge for us, and it'll show um, how defensively mature we are because that is one thing that we have been working a lot on is um, improving our defense and making sure that uh, we're, our scoring margins are different than they have been in the past. So um, I think that Akron's a good team, and I think that we can beat them if we uh, learn from what we have, uh, learn from the 10 games we've already played and uh, execute and come out ready to play from the jump ball. What do you take from last year's win against them uh, to help you this year? Uh, nothing, really. <laughs> a win last year against them doesn't mean anything this year. It's a new year. We have new players. Um, they have new players coming back for them. So, uh, you know, we learned that lesson the hard way. Uh, we're not just going to beat teams just because we beat them before. They're not just going to, uh, you know, lose to us just because they lost to us in the past. So uh, I think that we just take from it that we still have to come out and work hard just like they have to come out and play just like we do. You talked about their post players. Uh, tell us a little bit about um, the responsibilities that you and Heidi primarily will have with Tekka and King? Um, well, Coach Bolden really stressed a lot in practice that uh, the post players are going to have a lot of responsibilities this game. Um, we're going to have to make sure that we're denying and that um, we're really communicating to the rest of our teammates what's going on on defense. So um, I think that if we do our job, then it's going to put uh, the whole team in a better position to play and in a better defensive position so everyone knows what they're, what they're doing. But I think that um, the post players will have to communicate a lot. Um, they'll have to uh, be able to deny, and um, they'll have to be able uh, to play well, play really well, play really good help side defense. Brandy, is there something really nice about having two home games over, over Christmas and just being here and being you know, at home and, and being with the rest of the team and not traipsing all over the states? Yeah, I think um, it is really nice to be home. Uh, we had our team Christmas party yesterday, and it was awesome. We had so much fun, Secret Santa. It was fun. But um, it is nice <laughs> to be um, with our teammates uh, over the break, you know, when we could be traveling across the country. And then it'll be nice to get home, um, you know, for me going back to California and for all of the rest of my teammates um, from different places. It'll be nice to get home for a little bit and enjoy our families and then um, come back here and prepare for another game.